Well, we as a community have finally done it. We got the Fire Sword removed. In its place, we got a new sword called the Ember Sword and some armor that protects against fire. Yes, I know I'm pretty late to this video and plenty of other people have already made their videos with their takes on the new sword, but I felt like it would be only fitting to make this video after my first video on the Fire Sword when we rallied the community to get it removed. In this video, I'm going to be giving my take on the new Ember Sword after doing some testing with Evident, and I'm going to be talking about where I think the sword will fit in with Sky wars as a whole. Either way, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're a fan of my content, and enjoy the video. So on Wednesday at approximately 9.15am Eastern Standard Time, an update was released titled Skywars Minor Balancing Patch. In the text of this update, it said, Removed, Fire Sword, and added, Sword of Embers, 1 in 5 chance of igniting an enemy on hit. Okay, first of all, I would just like to say that Clankstar is a memer. I don't even think the official name of the Fire Sword was Fire Sword, it was like Fire Aspect Wooden Sword or something. Second of all, there was a note at the bottom of this page that said, This will continue to be balanced. Do not assume that this is the final implementation. I'll get into that a little bit later, however, because I want to show you my initial reaction to the sword. Alright, so it's like 9am right now, my phone was getting spammed because apparently there's a fire sword update. That's pretty cool. I swear if it falls off the map here. Oh ho ho, let's go. Oh, huh? It does the fire charge, okay. I like it, I like it. I swear this is less than a 1 in 5 chance. 3, okay. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, actually, it's looking like a 1 in 5. Huh. Okay. That's kind of cool, though. Oh, hi. It, it's hit on the first try twice. That's kind of interesting. After that, I called up Evident and we did some testing of the new sword, however, basically right when we finished doing that testing, a second update was pushed out for the sword, changing the chance of ignition from 1 in 5 to 1 in 4, adding fire protection 1 to the bling boots, which are the gold boots you can get out of gold ore, and adding fire protection 1 and 2 diamond leggings to the mid chest and the mystery chest respectively. This second update didn't really change too much about our initial testing though, and I'll show you why by just playing the testing session for you. Okay. And just hit me whenever. Oh. Two procs, alright. There we go. Jesus. I, I just that... won that on the, the two procs right there. Yeah, what? You had three hearts? Three and a half. Oh. Okay, I want to see something else too. Yeah. I'm going to use my axe now. Okay. Alright. One proc. Two procs. Yep, the three yep, hearts. Yep, it doesn't matter. I it, literally... It, it literally does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pain. Pain. Okay, what if we both use it now? <laughs> oh, no. I got, the, I got the thing before oh, you. No. It's over. I, I can't get it in. No, there's one. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm dead. You're dead. Yep. Dang. Okay. Do you yeah, want to try like do... the like the iron armor experiment or whatever? A little bit of context here, we tried this earlier, but the recording broke, so we had to redo it. We just attempted to use iron armor to see how that would affect fire sword versus diamond sword. Okay, here we go. Like you just shred me there. I had two and a half. Yeah. So yeah, it's just the armor. Potato pie, I think we're going to see a hive armor changes thing. Well, it's not even it's not even hive armor though. This is how m armor in Minecraft works. That's the thing. Yeah, but like what's the point in even like mining ores? Like this my pickaxe is the same as a diamond sword. What ex exactly. To full diamond sharp 2 also does half a heart. I've got a sharp 2 right here if you want it. Really? Yeah. That did half a heart? Yes. Okay, yeah, so weapons don't matter. I'm just gonna main this sword. Exactly. This yeah. did half a heart too, right? Yes, that did also did half a heart. Okay, yeah, there's no point. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I'm just gonna only use this now. Let's have a fight. Let's have a duel. A du okay. Just to, just to live up to the video. Yep. I'll go full try hard. All right. Yeah, let's just both use it. Okay. <laughs> Why? I'm so unlucky with it, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no. so dead. 
Oh, man. You know, I might just have- I might, like, secondarily use- Like, you know how people would, like, have, like, the fire sword, the old one, as their, like, secondary item? Your regular sword is your secondary, right? Yeah, my regular one is gonna be the secondary <laughs> one, and that's gonna be if I find, like, a guy with no gear. Yeah. If, this, if I'm fighting, like, a stack dude, I'm using this thing. Uh-huh. We just both- We just both got first proc, okay. <laughs> However, I think it's still pretty important to tell you guys about the fire protection stuff and what it does and how it affects gameplay. So here's our testing of that as well. So, so I wear- I have the pants on. Hello? Fire? Fi Hello? <laughs> I might win this. You might. Nope. I was a half a heart. heart. Wow. Okay. Bruh. Okay, now we Let's try to do that boost. again, because you oh. lit me on fire after like 16 yeah, hits. Okay. There we go. There we go. You're about to be at like three hearts. I'm calling it. Oh! How? How did I win that one? What? Huh? That. That doesn't make sense at all. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, now we try bling boots, I guess? Yeah, just hit me first. Oh! What? I'm so low. Oh my. How did that work the first time where I hit you on fire? This actually makes zero sense. Yeah, th I don't understand how this works. Let's try both then, I guess. Okay. All right. Point five. I, that did nothing. So I seem. I, it, my guess is that. Fire proc gives a very negligible advantage. It definitely gives like, a little bit of an advantage, but like, not much. So I guess the best way to answer the question of how much does fire protection do on the hive is to say it's complicated. According to the Minecraft wiki, every level of fire protection adds an 8% reduction of fire damage. This means that it doesn't really matter a lot, and in most situations it isn't going to be that useful anyways. However, if you're in a long drawn out fight with someone, that 8% can add up over time and could help you win the fight. So if you have it, it's better to put it on than to not put it on. If you have full diamond and bling boots, I would suggest putting on the bling boots as well if you know your opponent has a fire sword. Otherwise, keep the diamond boots on. There's a bunch of other armor dynamics that I could explain in this video, but I haven't researched enough and I honestly don't feel like getting into right now, but that might be another video in the future. Either way, let's get into talking about my thoughts overall on the new Ember Sword. I've been using it pretty much whenever I get it recently, and I honestly think it's in a pretty good state right now. When you're using it, you're kind of in a risk slash reward situation. You could be doing a lot of damage with your good sword, or you could be hoping for the chance of fire damage with your ember sword. The randomness of the fire is what makes it risky and it can pay off or it could not. And honestly, I think this is really good balance. It promotes multiple different gameplay styles such as playing it safe with a regular sword or going risky with a fire sword, and different gameplay styles are what the game needs to stay fresh. I'll admit that I was pretty skeptical of this change when it first released, but to be quite honest, I think the devs nailed this one. I'm giving them huge props for this change. Except for one thing. Why does the Ember Sword drop from Enchanted Ore when it isn't even Enchanted itself? This is a major bug that literally makes the game unplayable, so I think the devs definitely need to get on top of this. Please, I'm begging you devs, fix this game-breaking bug as soon as possible. In all seriousness, I would also like to talk about where I see the Ember Sword going in terms of gameplay and usage. I think a lot of the people that watch this video are going to understand that you can do multiple playstyles with it and may play risky with it, but also understand that you don't really have to use it. But if I had to guess, the average player that doesn't watch Hive content or doesn't see this video probably isn't going to use it and is probably going to think it's pretty bad. I think a lot of people will see the 1 in 4 chance to set someone on fire, and also assume that the melee damage on it won't do anything either, and will probably perceive it as too risky and or useless. I'd just like to say to the people that are watching this video though, let people know how the sword works. Tell people the ways that it can be useful, like fighting someone in full diamond, or just using it in a more risky playstyle overall. I'd also like to ask of you guys to test out the Ember Sword yourself, and try and find other ways or instances in which it might be useful. If you find something cool, let me 
know in a comment or join my Discord server, which you can find linked in the description. That's gonna wrap it up for this video, and I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and or subscribing to my channel. It would help me out immensely in being able to make more and better content for you all. Before we end, I'd like to give a shout out to Evident for helping me a bunch with the testing of the fire sword. He makes cool hive trapping videos, and I guarantee you'll enjoy them. Also, a huge thank you to all of my channel members. They support me for $4.99 a month, and their names are displayed on screen as a perk of their membership. If you'd like to become a channel member or check out what perks they have, you can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button or by clicking the link in the description. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.